My name is Christian Parrish Takesagam. My Apsalaga name is Good Fortune on Mother Earth, and I'm from the Crow Reservation, Apsalaga Nation down in Crow Agency. I'm a native hip hop artist as well as a flute player, flute player fancy dancer, uh, father, husband, you know, comedian, whatever I can get my hands into. So traditional, Crow traditional was my heart, you know, that's that's what I started with, that's who I am and where I'm from. So so the fancy dancing, it's it's also, you know, I really love it, you know, it's really you know, I really love dancing that style, but but it is contemporary, you know, it is an adopted style and uh, but I try to honor my people as a solo guy to, you know, just a good representation of dance hard and, and uh, you know my wife did all my bead work, you know, it's crow style and everything. So there's it's um it's fun to see you know just uh, how powwow has grown over time and just uh, it's a good it's good to be out there but always to know where you come from you know it's always good to know hey i'm solid uh, against that first as a crow you know on the res or just being in montana it's like when you when we saw hip-hop we thought yeah that's cool that's a cool culture and everything but to be vocal, you know, to be an MC, it seemed like a black thing, you know, like all my friends were like, that's a black thing, you know, that's, that's African American culture, even though there's, you know, Puerto Ricans in New York, there was white people doing it in a way back in the 80s, but how we viewed it was, that's not for us, you know, we, we don't, we can't do that, we're not, we're not vocal, you know, because everybody out there in the media at that time was, they're all black, you know, they're all doing hip hop and stuff. And, you know, we just, you know, they had different accents, you know, and we just, we just, I don't, in our minds, we're like, we can't do that, you know, we can't really do that. And as it started evolving, you know, started evolving, and you find out, like, oh, everybody's doing it, you know, and you, you, you like, listen to people on the radio, and like, that's not so great, you know, I, I can, I could probably do just as good, you know, I can be just as good as them, and so. I'm like Kenny Dobbs in the middle of the cypher dropping. And I, I remember one time we were, we were just like, man, we must have been only fifth graders, you know, fifth grade, and we're like listening to some scratching, we're like, how do they do that? It's called scratching, you know? And so we had a we had a record player, you know, and like, so I got a fork, and we scratched the heck out of a, of a, of a record, you know? And then we, we played it, hoping we'd hear these sounds, and it was just all jacked up, you know? I was like, no, oh, that's not it, you know, that, that's not how you do it. Record? Oh. Not even a record. <laughs> we would try to freestyle, you know, we'd try to see how long we would, we could freestyle without stopping, you know, and um, that's how MCing came into it, and that was just like, maybe high school, high school. Yeah. 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 Being an artist and what I'm trying to convey, you know, to the listener as an MC is uh, being positive, you know, being, that's who I am, you know, I don't drink, use drugs, I talk about that, and and that'll inspire people, you know, like, you say that, hey, you can do that too, or whatever, you know, try try to live that life, and that's what I want to convey to, or, you know, I want to get across to Native youth is, is you know, yeah, just live, live a good life, you know, make good choices, stuff like that. I pledge. To be, to be drug and alcohol free, drug and alcohol free. My, entire life. my entire life. I pledge, I pledge. in front of my friends, in front of my teachers, in front of everybody. I'm never, never going to do drugs or drink, drink alcohol because I'm a champion. It's, it's evident, but that's just not what I talk about all the time, you know, I'm not just constantly throwing that out there. People just don't want to hear, you know, all of that all the time. And so, when, as an MC, uh, like, I try to be the MC that I like to listen to, you know. I like to listen to witty, humorous, you know, things like that. I broke my leg in two places So you know what I did? I quit going to those two places Now who hates this? I've been ill since I was a ninth grader A white paper Have your head spinning like Spike Draper I spit great on mixtapes till my lips ache And grip the mic so hard I make my 
I'm rapping in my pants, you know. I'm not from the city or whatever, and this is what I live, you know, this is what I, this is what I talk about, and people are like, oh, that's cool, you know, right on, this guy ain't trying to be somebody else, you know, so. People say a little bit too much, you know, and that's all you do, man, you know, you don't really have no content, you know, you just, you're just pulling things from all over, I don't know what you're talking about, and that's good too, you know, like a lot of MCs do that, and that's where I'm at as witty punchlines and stuff, but there's also the aspect of who I am as a person, you know, I have songs like, you know, the prayer, you know, to reach out to people, to help somebody else. For the chairman and tribal officials, I pray for black whistle and those who have missiles. I pray for young leaders to be raised up and no leaders who gave up. I pray that they would stay stuck. I pray for skateboarders grinding on concrete and all the MCs who be rhyming on Like all my raps, like I've ever recorded, I don't cuss, you know, I don't, I don't cuss. And uh, this is who I am, I try not to, to cuss. And as an MC, people are, well, they have to be no cuss, or they listen for that, you know, to like, for it to be cool sometimes, and, and uh, really, it takes more skill not to cuss, you know, like, really mature, you know, people who, artists, they'll say the same thing, you know, yeah, I try not to cuss, because, you know, you have more space to say something good, you know, you have more room to... To uh, fill it with something else rather than just like, kind of, you know, cuss words. A lot of punchlines, you know, for MCs, witty stuff, humor, a lot of Rez stuff, you know, like, you're from the Rez, you listen to my music, and you're like, I know this guy's from the Rez, you know, you, like, what he's saying, that's, what, that's how it is on my Rez, you know, I know. And you get that kind of respect, you know, like, like um, some people, natives around, around because sometimes they'll be like, well, who's this native trying to rap, you know? Why, why is he trying to adapt to that hip hop culture? We're natives, this is our native culture, he should be doing that, you know? But if you talk about Rez stuff in a way, you know, like it's witty and it, it's humorous, then they'll be like, oh, that's, that's funny, you know, I relate to that. I'm, I'm from the Rez, so I, you know, I respect that, you know, I respect that. Like, I don't know if you saw the video that I have, it's called the Prayer Loop Song. And um, you can just loop and make a beat on the fly, you know, like press it, boom, do that, press it again, it'll just, you know, in real time, you can create this whole musical, you know, composition, you know, on the fly, like right there, right then and there. I said, I'm gonna wear my outfit and I'm going to do this looping. I'm gonna use the drum, I'm gonna use the flute, you know, and I'm gonna do beatboxing. I'm gonna try to get all my talents, you know, all together in one shot, you know, in one little piece for that. Kept the, my dancing, you know, culture, you know, Absalvia culture, uh, fancy dancing, separate from the hip hop culture, you know. I always kept those two separate because I, I knew uh, when, early on, you know, like, I don't know why, it's just like, it didn't seem like the right time to do that, you know, like you didn't want to mix those together because the, the elders were more like, already, like, you're rapping, you know, like, that's not native, you know. That's somebody else. Why are you trying to be black? You know, like the, the ones that say that, they would say that. And so that was always like, okay, you know, we're not supposed to do this or whatever. But yeah, after, after a while, you mature and you just realize, like, hey, man, this, this is life, you know, this is who we are. You know, and we walk in two worlds as natives and, and on, on this earth. And so everything's all good, you know, like as long as, I feel like as long as you're doing something positive, you know, like what you're saying to the people, man, anything, you know, like, it's great, you know, it's good. How could you hate on something that's trying to uplift the people, you know? How could you hate on, like, a song that has prayers and that you can't, you know, because that's all goodness. And so, just being mature in that, and we were in Bozeman, and uh, 
they wanted us to do fancy dance you know, for the kids there at the campus, and then they wanted us to rap, you know, do some rap music, hip hop music, those two things. And we said, yeah, sure. So we we danced, you know, we danced in our, our outfits and everything it was good. And then they said, okay, we want you to rap now. We're like, okay, we'll, we'll go change, you know, we'll change our outfits, and we'll, we'll be right back. And they're like, oh, there's there's no time, you know, we we need, we need you to go on right now. They didn't give us any you know, time to change or anything. And so me and my nephew, you know, Scott Flatlet, he was like, oh, let's just do it. He was northern traditional, I was fancy. I was like, let's just do it then and just wrap in our outfits. So we did, you know. We just turned the music on, we wrapped, you know, in our outfits. And that became special, you know. To us, we were just like, okay, we just got to do this, you know. But it was special to the audience. It was special to the people. They were like, wow, that's cool, you know. It's good, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to to embrace you know, your culture and, you know, do music, do another culture, mix them together, you know. It, it's a good thing. As long as you're doing it positive, that, that's a great thing. Can somebody help me up? Uh, who? And we, we did it, you know, with the Billings Gazette and everything, put it out there. And I didn't even know how bad it was going to take off, you know, how, how really um, of uh, embrace it was going to get, you know, from the public. And it was just, man, it blew up, you know, it started going viral. And just one month we had 250,000 views on that. And then that really showed me, hey, that's special, you know, what you're trying, what you're doing, what you are as a native artist, as a dancer and a, a Native American and a Native hip hop artist, putting those together and using it for the good, you know, of good words, of helping people, of prayer, of putting it out there, it, it's good, you know, it's a good thing in it. And that was special and it had power, you know, it showed me that there was power in that and man, it just took off like that and I was just like, hey, that's great, you know. you there